Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Watts with your News 5 update. An arrest is made in the killing of a woman whose body was found near Old Pueblo Road near Fountain last month. 41-year-old Joseph Hunnica arrested in Texas, being held on a first-degree murder charge in the death of 33-year-old Allison Cantrell. Her best friend says Honeycutt was Cantrell's husband and father of her child. Her body was found at the intersection of Old Pueblo Road and Midway Ranch May 15th, March 15th, I should say. We're making big progress rebounding from the pandemic thanks to those vaccines, but it's not over yet. Case numbers higher than doctors would like. The state health department reporting more than 1,700 new cases in the past day, with nearly 300 more people being admitted to hospitals, and sadly six more have died as a direct result of the virus. Our statewide seven-day positivity rate is more than 6%. More than 18,000 Coloradans received their first dose of a COVID vaccine the past day. More than 36,000 received their second or a Johnson and Johnson one dose vaccine. Officials say vaccine hesitancy is now becoming the issue. Pope Francis has appointed the next bishop of the Colorado Springs Diocese. Father James R. Golka coming from Nebraska, where he serves as the rector at a church in Grand Island. He'll replace Bishop Michael Sheridan, who retired when he turned 75, as is required by the church. Mike. Thanks, Elizabeth. Even though we flipped the calendar to month number five tomorrow, I've still got some real chilly air in your forecast and even snow for parts of the Pikes Peak region. This cold front's going to come through Sunday afternoon. Moist upslope flow at the surface, good energy, some good lift around here. So I have got thunderstorms in your forecast. Some of those thunderstorms could be strong. A couple could be severe with hail, maybe up to an inch in diameter. Once that settles down, good soaking rain. That'll happen late Sunday night, continuing through Monday, over a half an inch of water possible along I-25. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.